Hey everybody, Kevin Thatcher, your title king over here at Independence Title, the founder and CEO with a very special episode. You know, many, many people always ask me about writing books and why I write books. And uh, I like to tell you that most of the successful people in the world usually didn't write their own book. They have the content that they work with a publisher and the publisher helps them create a masterpiece. And I've authored six or seven books already uh, that many of you have seen. And today I have the honor of introducing one of our newest books that came out. Uh, this is one of the books that I did in conjunction with uh, a good friend of mine. He's also a very good client of ours, Sylvan Dupont, who is a, a realtor and he's a realtor over on the west coast of Florida. We decided to co-author a book to educate buyers, sellers, for sale by owners, and most specifically, the realtors out there. What are the things that Sylvan has learned in order to have a successful business? Now, I set the stage and tell you I'm just a contributing author on this, so I just helped them out a little bit with it. I wrote a couple of chapters. I helped put it all together and help structure it, but I did want to do a release, because if you're in real estate, this book has some amazing tips, and I'm going to run through all the chapters with you. Uh, so you want to get right into it, we'll get into the reveal. So here we go, here's the package came in from Amazon Fulfillment, and you'll see it live on Amazon shortly. We're just finishing it up, so let's open it up. And we will reveal the book. Da -da -da. You ready? Secrets, of, secrets from the Real Estate Masters. So this was the title we picked for the book because we wanted to give you secrets that we've learned over the years of doing thousands of deals in real estate. Sylvan and myself have probably done hundreds of deals together, but when you separate the amount of deals we've done, it has been thousands. I've done over 10,000 closings and he's done thousands of deals as an investor and a realtor here in South Florida. And he works with a lot of Canadian uh, buyers and sellers as well. He speaks fluent in French and Spanish. Um, so he's a great clientele. We wanted to put this together to help our viewers, as well as if you're thinking about selling your house on your own, you may want to read the book and learn about some pitfalls and maybe some tips in here uh, that aren't so good for you to do. You want to watch out. So the book is about 165 pages. And I'm going to go through a couple of the chapters with you just so you have a little bit of a better understanding what the contents of the book are. And if you want to order one, it's going to be available on Amazon. So the first thing that, that Sylvan decided to talk about, and this is an important one, is about picking the right broker. You know, if you're, if you're newly licensed and you're working with clients, you wanna make sure you, sell, you set yourself apart from the competition and select the right broker. You wanna make sure clients understand who you are, what you do, how you do business, so this way they're selecting the best broker to handle their real estate transaction. Then it starts getting into how to price a home. So he wants to let sellers that may be thinking about selling their house on their own or sellers that are working with a real estate agent. Maybe you can learn some great tips. So if you're a real estate agent and you do these things, your seller will have no questions with you because you're following a good path. So think of the book as like a free real estate mentorship. So it's going to talk about how to price your right home, enhancing the appearance of your home. Sylvan put in a lot of good tips in here that talk about little things that are inexpensive that you can enhance your home. Maybe a little bit of paint, maybe fixing up some lighting uh, and make your home look more appealing to a buyer. Remember, when a buyer is coming in your house, they don't want to see all of your personal junk. They want to see the house. They want to envision themselves living there. They don't want to see your cars sitting on the driveway maybe a broken down car, maybe some stuff sitting on the side of the house. They don't want to see that. They want to pull up and see an inviting experience. So that's a lot of the tips that, that he gives in the book. Social media marketing. Obviously, you know, that was one of my chapters. We talked about it in Rescue Your Business. We talked about it in the Tidal Wave of Real Estate. We talked about social media and internet marketing for your real estate business. Even if it's face-to-face -face marketing, we put a lot of good tips in here that you can learn how to market your business a little bit better. Hopefully earn yourself another deal. Maybe take your business to the next level. Then we get into advertising and marketing your home. So first we talk a little bit about social media and building your brand and your business. And now we're gonna get into your house. How do you advertise your home? personal advertising, newspaper advertising, print advertising, online advertising. There are many different ways that you can help your clients advertise your home and we cover a lot of great tips in this book. Showing your home, one of the biggest tips that I, I love that Sylvan put in is don't follow the buyers around the house and tell them everything about your house. Let the real estate agent do that, okay? You don't wanna scare people and let them know all of the ins and outs. Wait until you get the contract, maybe when you're doing your home inspection to give them some tips and ideas. Because remember, your vision of your home is not your buyer's vision of the home. They want to vision themselves in the home. So what you like, they may not like. 
So you wanna try and remove yourself from that. So if you have someone coming to look at the house, obviously you make sure you secure all of your valuables and everything that's worth some money. And then go outside, go for a walk, let the buyers have time in the house, look at the house and, and enjoy the house. Let them feel themselves that like they're, they could live there. And if they can live in the house, you're going to receive the highest and best offer possible. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Then we talk about international buyers and sellers. I talked a little bit about that, but that is one of Sylvan's uh, niches in the business is working with international buyers from Canada. So it's a great chapter to talk about if you wanna get into that side of the business and learn some tips and tricks on how you can work with international clients because it's not the same in every country. What you may do for an American, you may not do for a Canadian. What you may do with, with someone from France, you may not do with someone from Italy. They all have different ways of doing business and you wanna make sure you understand their culture and how to work with them to get yourself to the finish line and get that closing done successfully. Oh, this one's my favorite. How to choose the right title company. It may not always be Independence Title, hopefully it is, but when you are selecting the right team, we talk about it in this chapter and the next chapter about choosing your right title company and choosing your dream team of people to work with. If you are a real estate agent, you need to have your own team of people that you can add value to your clients. Whether it's a pool contractor, someone to put in a baby gate, someone to renovate a kitchen, a home appraisal, a home inspection, home insurance, you wanna make sure you have your dream team available and ready to go. So when your clients call them, they feel like they've been taken care of. So it's very important. We talk about choosing the right title company and selecting the right team. Negotiation is a great tactic. He talks about both buyers and sellers, how you can negotiate a deal to make it a win-win for everybody. It needs to be a win for the buyer, a win for the seller, and obviously a win for you, the real estate professional. Home inspections are an important one. Some of the things that could go right and could go wrong Always make sure you get a home inspection and get someone that understands how to inspect a home, not just some handyman or some contractor. You wanna make sure you're dealing with someone who has inspected thousands of homes and they understand exactly what to look for, exactly what to test. So when your buyers are buying a home, they know what they're buying. And if you're selling your home, one of the tips that Selvin gives in the book is talking about doing a pre-home inspection. So before you even list your home, you may want to invest in an appraisal and you may want to invest in a home inspection so you can go ahead and repair those things. So when the buyer comes in and they do their own home inspection, all of those things will be fixed and there will be no surprises. So that's a little tip that he gave in the book. Mortgage basics for a lot of those people, we know stock markets at an all time high while we're filming this and real estate interest rates, mortgage interest rates are at an all time low. So now's the time to get that financing in line. And he talks about a lot of tips in there about how you can achieve your clients the best possible rate, the best possible loan program and get yourself to the closing table. You wouldn't believe how many closings we see that fall apart. So it's very important to make sure uh, you get your home loan uh, and that goes back to your teamwork. Make sure you have a good mortgage broker or a bank on your team. Why for sale by owners in real estate aren't successful. So if you're trying to market to for sale by owners, there are some good tips in here to teach them why it's not successful for them to do it on their own. It's worth it to pay the commission to be represented by an agent to make sure that they are well looked after. So he talks about a lot of tips in there, but if you're choosing to do it on your own, obviously the book is geared towards investors, towards realtors, and towards the consumer. So you can get a lot of tips out of here should you decide to do it on your own. But folks, it's always better to hire a professional to handle your business. You would never go get divorced by yourself and not hire an attorney. You would never do estate planning and not hire an attorney. Why would you buy a house and not hire a real estate agent? And it's only if it goes right that you won't have any problems. But when something goes wrong, believe me, you're going to want a real estate professional on your side advocating for you. Investing in real estate, another great one. This one's for the investors and the rehabbers. We talk about a lot of the common things we see when investing and rehabbing property. And then we end here on how to become a top agent because all of you want to become better, right? Every single day you want to advance your business and become better. So we talk about how to become a top agent like Sylvan and many other agents that close at our company. We want to have some tips in here that can help take your business to the next level so you can be a top agent and start marketing to your clients. So people always ask me the question in the end, we have a notes page where they say, well, why a book? And I always answer, why not? Why not have a nice business card that looks like this? Someone like Sullivan's gonna be able to take this over to his listing appointments and show his clients why he sets himself apart from his competition. 
So if you're thinking about writing a book, I have a great publisher. It's always a good thing to do. It just think of it as a fancy business card that can help win the deal. Winning the deal is about winning your pocket, right? If you win the deal, you're gonna make yourself more money. You're gonna be more successful. You're gonna be a better agent for the community, increasing our values here in the real estate community. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video where I introduced this new book. You can get it on Amazon. Check it out. Leave us a review. Let me know what you think about it. If you see me at a local event, I may have a couple of copies laying around. I may be able to uh, get a copy to you. Just say you saw this video. Uh, and if I have one, I'll be happy to give it to you. So thanks for watching this video. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO signing off as always. And I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.